Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Art of Animation Resort to be on the move over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! We're here at Disney's Art of Animation Resort. This is where we're going to start our excursion and we're going to end up at Disney's Hollywood Studios. That's where we'll check out a former attraction that once had a bronze bust of Walt Disney on display. At Disney's Art of Animation Resort, create your own animated adventures amidst a family-friendly atmosphere designed with popular Disney films in mind. Be surrounded in the artistry, enchantment, and magic of Disney and Pixar movies. Stay tuned because we're going to take to the skies and get a bird's eye view of the Walt Disney World Resort on the Disney Skyliner. Now let's head inside Animation Hall by using the automatic double sets of double doors into the lobby. And here's the reception area for check-in. Let's proceed straight ahead into the ink and paint shop and see what merchandise items we can discover. And over to the right hand side, they have sweatshirts and t-shirts that are themed to Disney's Art of Animation Resort. And here's what it looks like behind the merchandise items that we just checked out. And here's what it looks like on the opposite side of the gift shop. They even carry Disney Skyliner merchandise. Now let's head back this direction and over to the right hand side. Up ahead is the reception area in the lobby and over in this direction is the Pixel Play Arcade. Now let's make a right and head through these double sets of double doors outside. Up ahead is the big blue pool. We're just taking a quick look now, but we'll come back to this in a moment. We're going to head down the pathway to our left hand side. We've come up to the Lion King theme section of rooms. Oh look, there's Rafiki. And there's Simba on Pride Rock. Stay at a Disney Resort hotel that invites you to explore the storybook landscapes seen in such classics as the Lion King. From delightfully themed family suites to wondrously detailed courtyards, Disney's Art of Animation draws you and your family in to become a part of some of your animated favorites. Aw, oh, how cute! There's Timon, Pumbaa, and Simba! How cool would it be to have a room that overlooks what's just behind me? Now let's head back to the big blue pool. Over to the right hand side is Animation Hall again. We're going to head down this pathway over to the left hand side. Oh, 
Up ahead are the Finding Nemo themed rooms. Down below is the Big Blue Pool. And off in the distance is Animation Hall. This pool looks so nice and refreshing. Now let's continue heading back down the pathway again, over to the right hand side. Dude, look, there's Crush and Dory. We've come up to the Righteous Reef Playground, along with Squirt adorning the top of it. Over to the right hand side are some restrooms, but if we continue up ahead, it'll take us to the shimmering waters of Hourglass Lake. Discover Disney Skyliner, an innovative twist on flight. Also an incredible way to travel around the Walt Disney World Resort. Glide across the sky and add an extra dash of pixie dust to your day. This grand, state-of-the-art gondola system conveniently connects Disney's Hollywood Studios to Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Some of the gondolas are adorned with iconic Disney characters, figures from Disney attractions and film favorites which makes getting around even more magical as guests enjoy breathtaking vistas over and between each of these enchanting locations. For reference, here are the operating hours for today. Now let's take to the skies. Thank you for flying with us. Por favor, permanezcan sentados hasta que las puertas se abran automáticamente. Al salir de la cabina, por favor, cuide a sus pequeñitos, regula sus pertenencias y observe sus pasos. Gracias por volar con nosotros. This is where we'll have to disembark and transfer over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Down below are the Walt Disney World bus transportation gateways that you can take to various resorts around the property. Get ready, we're coming in for a landing. Across the tributary is the Friendship Boat Launch and the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror looming ominously off in the distance. Now we're going to make a right and head down towards the security screening area. Up ahead are the ticket booths where you can meet with a vacation planner to purchase your ticket media. And there's the guest entrance, where we'll use the touch points to gain access to the park. We're now inside the entrance.
Now let's head down Hollywood Boulevard to Echo Lake. Now we're gonna make a left and head over in this direction. We've arrived at Echo Lake. Up ahead is the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. Over to the right hand side is Vacation Fun, an original animated short featuring Mickey and Minnie. And off to the right hand side is the first time in forever, a frozen sing along celebration. And over to the left hand side is a quick service dining experience. Let's go check that out. Dockside Diner is a counter service restaurant that opened with the park on May 1st, 1989 and took the form of a tramp steamer named the SS Down the Hatch, docked in Echo Lake. Originally, it was called Min and Bill's Dockside Diner. The name came from the 1930 MGM comedy Min and Bill, a story about dockside innkeepers. The restaurant's ship shape was taken from Bill's own fishing trawler. As it turns out, in late 2017, the film connection of the name was dropped. Let's see what they have on the menu. Dockside Diner offers entrees like a shrimp salad roll, a smoked fish dip, and a chipotle chicken salad roll. They also have kids meals like a macaroni and cheese, and a PB&J Encrustable. In addition, they offer an extremely popular dessert, the Seaside Brownie. <laughs> now that we've had our fill, let's head around the corner. Here we are at the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame Plaza. Fun fact, the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame Plaza was an outdoor exhibit that featured 12 busts of television stars inducted into the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame. The plaza even featured a life-size Emmy Award statue at its center, and some of the honorees displayed included Betty White, Dick Van Dyke, and Walt Disney. The original Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Hall of Fame Plaza opened in 1991 in North Hollywood, California. The Disney's Hollywood Studios version opened in 1994 as its East Coast counterpart and was removed in October 2016 from the park and was replaced with a frozen lightning lane entrance. Now it's time for a Disney MGM Studios flashback. Here we are near Echo Lake, but sadly, our journeys come to an end. With that being said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.